Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a login page in AppSheet. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And if you want to create an account on AppSheet, you can use our link in the description down below where you can get discounts or rewards upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, AppSheet is one of those uh, applications that you can use to uh, create web application or mobile applications without uh, using code. So it's pretty much easy to uh, use and intuitive. And yes, a login is the, uh, a feature on AppSheet that you can, you know, of course, your application needs a login in order to make it secure, make it uh, accessible to uh, navigate the app itself. You need to log in. So, and I'm going to show you how to uh, create an app and also how to add a login in there. So it's easy. You can just go to uh, AppSheet uh, website, appsheet.com uh, and log in with your account. And since it is a Google app, uh, it is a Google app, you can just uh, go to uh, your Google uh, account and right there you will see AppSheet. And you can log in with your Google account and it's cool. And yeah, you're good to go. So after logging in, after opening AppSheet, you will be redirected to this uh, uh, dashboard where you can see all of your all of your uh, created apps right here. So I don't have uh, any apps created for now. So I'm just going to create uh, right now. So if you have created uh, an application or you can you have a uh, uh, you know uh, listed an application right here, they will be uh, uh, shown right here in this one. So. So you can see, create your first app, builds apps, and rich views and access control, automate re uh, reminders and updates, and organize your data and connect to other sources. So this is how, this is what the app sheets do. So if, if you want to create a, an, an application, you can just go right here on the top left corner and click this button right here, it says create. And right here, instead of database, let's go to application first. And you can, you have three options, uh, uh, to create an application you can start with an existing data or existing uh, app or start with a template you can use their uh, an, uh, built in templates for your application or you can start uh, your application in blank so the best for me is to start with a template so since it's pretty much easy to start with a template you can just choose uh, any of this uh, application and you know just customize customize them uh, after so yeah you can you know scroll down scroll uh some apps right here and choose whatever you like so for example it depends if you're running a business for example you want to uh, uh, you want to have an equipment uh, inspections to look up your or to look up and log uh, equipment maintenance status for your for example you're doing stocks uh, Etc. Like that, yeah. So, but for now, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to go with uh, how do you call this? Field delivery. So let's go with this or tax manager or project tracker. So it's up to you. So yeah. So for me, I'm just going to uh, choose uh, travel approval workflow. So let's just choose this one. So it is intermediate to uh, customize. So now you can preview it or you can copy it already. So I'm just going to copy it already. So right here, just click copy app and you will be redirected to this uh, dashboard. As you can see, your, the, the, the app is being cop uh, copy, copied and it is being synced in your uh, app sheet uh, account. So as you can see, this is how it would look like. So you, you, you will receive all uh, travel requests and director approval or vp approval so this is how it is so you can just you know uh, manage this one and it's up to you but we're not going to uh you know uh customize this one but for now let's just add a login for this application so it's already a uh, link it's uh it's past 100 percent so now what we're going to do is to we're going to go with this uh, settings right here on the left side and go to secu security. So as you can see, right in the under security require sign in, you need to uh, enable this. Here. 
in order for the users to log in first before navigating the application. So if you turn this off, they can just, uh, you know, uh, go to your application without uh, logging in. So you need to uh, enable this one. So after enabling this one, under authentication provider, choose a Google. So it's much better if it's Google since uh, all of the uh, users in the world use Google accounts. So yeah, Google is general. So let's just, uh, uh, you know, choose Google. And for the allow all sign in user, if this, this option is enabled, there's no need for a user list. Enable this option when you do not need to restrict access to a specific list of users. So if you want to, uh, uh, you know, allow all users uh, to go to your applications, you can enable this. But if you want, you can just restrict it by uh, deactivating this. And you can just manage the users who can access, uh, who uh, can only access the application. But for now, I'm just going to enable it. So for another, uh, uh, another settings, yes, this is a public app. You can just enable it. If you want it to be private or if you want it to be public, it's up to you. And... I am authorized to set up a public app. If you allow all sign-in users, you must in explicitly uh, enable these settings. By doing so, you acknowledge on behalf of your organization that you knowingly take on the risk of data exposure for any data that you have not placed behind a correctly configured uh, security filter. So yeah, this is much uh, easier. You can just uh, manage the users and, uh, you know, you can just... Uh, for example, you can just add someone or add an uh, add an account that can only uh, access or you can only access your uh, application and you can do so by sharing the link. And yes, as you can see, they can use this link to install on mobile. They can use this link to, ins to open the application on browser. And if they want to edit the app, yes, they can. They, this is the this is the link to use. So, yeah. This is three different links that uh, does different things. So yeah, that's it. So you can share it, whatever you want. It's up to you. So yeah, after you're done with this, just click done. And now, so this this is pretty much, uh, you know, this is not un unnecessary to, uh, you know, customize. So for domain authentication, as you can see, you can integrate with corporate uh, domains. You can uh, authenticate uh, via a domain group. Auth authenticate this uh you know application via uh, subscription so if you enable this uh, the users need to have an enterprise plan in order to you know uh, log in with this uh, application and yeah that's it and if you want you can just create uh, you can just choose your domain source right here and the domain name and yeah it's up to you but me I'm not going to uh, require this one but yeah that's it and yes, lastly, for the options, you can also, uh, you know, explore these options right here. And yeah, secure PDF access, secure image access, uh, encrypt data, uh, encrypt device data. And this is, an, uh, pro uh, this is uh, probably not unnecessary, not necessary to uh, edit. And yeah, after you're done, this is the most important one. You need to enable this uh, options. And for this, it's up to you. And after you're done with all of these uh, uh, options, it, and it's finished. You just need to click save and, you know, sync the app itself. And now you can just share the links to your, or it, you can just, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, this uh, application is now public. And if you enable it private, you can share the links and they will be, uh, after they copy the links, go to their browser, paste the link. They will open this application and they will be required to log in. Yes, that's it. That's how you can create login in AppSheet. And also that's it for today's video. If you want more, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one.